Hey guys, another movie review is coming at you, and this time, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, I was originally going to do this in a, like, gameplay type thing, but I thought, let's just do this one-on-one. -on -one. So, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and talk about Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, going into this, I have my doubts. I don't think people were saying that this was... Marvel's best movie and all that stuff, and I was like, no, that's that's a false because I have a lot of. It's not. I don't. It probably is my favorite Marvel movie. I like it probably better than the Avengers, but it does have a lot of flaws. And it's one of my favorite superhero movies, but uh, then again, I I like a lot of superhero movies. I mean. I don't know. This movie's kind of weird for me. All right, so I want to go ahead and talk about the cons. Dave Bautista. Sucks at acting. No surprise there. Zo, uh, Zin... Z I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I'm sorry, but... Um... She's alright. Acting. Pretty good. Decent. Chris Pratt knocked it out of the park. He is a funny-ass individual. Just has that aspect about him that is funny. But the only thing I was kind of upset about is that I wanted to see him in more of a serious role. And I thought that this is what it was going to be, is him in an actual serious role. But it was more of him kind of in a comedy, get serious when he can. It's almost like his character on Pokes and Recreation. Like, he's a silly guy, but he's serious when he needs to. Um, And then Rocket Raccoon. Not gonna lie, he was funny as hell in the movie. But he looks and sounds like shit. This was one thing that bugs the hell out of me. Is, now I, I, I know people are gonna get, I'm gonna get flack for saying Rocket Raccoon looks and sounded like shit. He was funny. I, I could deal with it. But that isn't Rocket Raccoon's voice. When I picture a raccoon... It's a voice. If I said a rocket, a, a raccoon's gonna talk. I don't picture Bradley Cooper voicing this raccoon. The guy who has done three movies about getting so drunk that you don't know what the hell happened the next morning. Bradley Cooper's a great actor, don't get me wrong. But a major problem is that he looked and sounded like so, ugh, I can deal with it. It's not that, now, who did I want to voice him? It's the question. I'm going to get shit beyond shit for saying this. The guy who voiced him in Molu vs. Capcom 3, Ultimate Molu vs. Capcom 3, is the guy that should have voiced him. That was a raccoon talking. And I know what you're saying. No one really talked to him. But no. He says a few lines. Like, eat, eat something sucker. And then, um... Initiate rocket something. When he activates his minigun and all that stuff. And that's the ra that's a raccoon. If I could have just pictured a raccoon on screen, I was I'm hyped. The Rocket Raccoon is one of my favorite superheroes, and Marvel did a good job. He he was Rocket Raccoon, except no traps. Rocket Raccoon is very well known for using traps. And then let's go down to Vin Diesel as Groot. It it, it didn't bother me at all, honestly. It was fun. It was good. I mean, he was funny at points. And now, what I said, now, I don't want anyone to get in my mind saying that I don't like this movie because it isn't that. And I didn't like Rocket Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon was my favorite character. He was funny as hell. And I do, I do want to go to Into the Galaxy 2. This movie was really well done. Uh, but one note, I am noticing a trend in mobile movies is that. That 
they, I like comedy, and don't get me wrong, I enjoy comedy as much as the next guy. But in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, there was an excessive amount of comedy. And I'll let it slide in this because Black Raccoon is a silly superhero. So his good doesn't talk that much. I don't like Batista. He sucked. He was a terrible actor. Did he have funny lines? Yes, but was there a suck at acting? Joe Zendo. Decent actor. And then Chris Pratt knocks his role out of the park. He's serious when he needs to, and he's when he's funny, he's funny as hell. And that's what I did like. Now, let's talk about the plot. I'm not going to spoil too much about the film, but uh, basically, you have Peter Quill on a mission. He tries to grab this, this crystal, and uh, he gets stopped by uh, these bandits. So, then he escapes, but then they go back to their main leader. I don't want to give all those spoilers out. I don't know. Uh, but then he basically will fight to save humanity. He he goes to jail. He's caught. Because back on Earth, he was trying to... I don't, not on Earth, but on a planet, trying to sell it to a person. Um, said, I don't want it. Then you get a... Uh, Zoe Zandale's character, and then she tried to do it, Rocket Raccoon, sees the bounty, he's a bounty hunter, him and Goot try to get involved, and they meet, uh, then they go to prison, they meet Botch Tista in prison, all that good junk. Um, then the story just takes off from there. This movie is very, very well done, but unfortunately I do feel like a lot of the times in Marvel movies, Marvel directors take a little bit too much Creative Liberty. And one problem I do have with this movie. Where the hell is Nova? Come on! To me, Nova is a key factor in Guardians of the Galaxy. And there's none of him. Not a cameo, nothing? Ugh. Love this cup, though. This is uh, from a, uh, my movie theater. They get, like, these promotional cups now, and they're awesome. I have one for Transformers. You've seen them all. But, uh... I do feel like it's unfortunately... Like, and I'm not... I, like, again, I'll, I'll take comedy in this. But here's a movie I won't take comedy in. Thor, The Dark World. It was a good movie, but there was a problem. You take too much creative liberty, and in one of the big combat scenes, instead of breaking through a brick wall, he decides to take a train. What the hell? That was in Thor 2, not this, but... It was overall a good movie. You see Rocket Raccoon. Uh, he doesn't like to be called a raccoon. As you see him like slowly just knowing that he's not like any one of them. He's different. And you see him kind of like, oh, well, I'm fine with being a raccoon. And then you're like, and he's like, you son of a bitch. You call me a raccoon? And it's overall a really great film with the plot, the characters. I do feel Rocket Raccoon was still great. I just feel like he needed to be voiced better and looked better. I mean, the raccoon just looks tall and too slender. I mean, Groot looked great. Groot was badass. And the reason I am kind of just nitpicking this is I actually do read the comics and one of the hardest thing to do for me is that if you're going to base a movie off comics, try to go ahead and you literally have to read a, like, book, a small book. Like, okay, you did that, did that, and did that. Put this on my television and put it on a movie screen. That's all you got to do. 
film it. It's not like, mm, well, no, we're not going to do that. And that's why I loved Amazing Spider-Man 2. Stuck to the damn point. I liked the Amazing Spider-Man 2. This was, I think, maybe a tad bit better than Amazing Spider-Man 2. But right now, my favorite movie still is Transformers Age of Extinction. I highly recommend that movie, guys. It got shit upon, but I enjoyed it. And I think we're going to continue movie reviews on the channel as a regular thing. If there's a hit movie that comes out that I want to see, I'll do a review on it. I'll do one on next week's uh, mo big movie is TMT. I will definitely be going to see that. Um, I have, uh, now I'm not going to nitpick Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because I, like, I grad toys and that, but we'll see what Michael Bay does. I mean, I like Michael Bay. I, I think trans his job on the Transformers film have been pretty good. It's, I did not like 3 at all. 3 was pretty bad. Really boring. Uh, but... Overall, I mean, you don't really have that much to complain about in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Do I? I think it's Marvel's best work, but as a movie whole, and I think that they can really just ba continue the structure, and then if they don't, if they stick to maybe adding Nova in the next movie, then I'll be uh, a okay, and maybe. Make Rocket Raccoon less shitty looking. Because I know I'm stuck with Bradley Cooper voice acting him. Maybe take out Dave Batista. That'd be good. And yeah. Alright, I give Godian to the Galaxies an 8 out of 10. I do think it's maybe more, maybe more of the best work. But, at the end of the day, it simply does not touch the excellence that is the Dark Knight Trilogy. That's it for this one, guys. Um, I'll see you guys in a next video. Probably either some gameplay. Well, definitely will be gameplay. Because I probably won't see TMT launch day like I did. I went to go see Guardians of the Galaxy at the earliest showing possible the next morning. So, um... That's it really for this one, guys. I will catch you guys in a new video. Peace out. Go see Guardians of the Galaxies. It's a great movie. So, uh, peace.